Okay, this is the Keller procedure, and in order to remember that, I have the famous Helen Keller, the most famous Keller of all. And so, like Helen Keller, who has no sight or hearing, the Keller procedure leaves you with no first MTPJ joint, okay? So that's the best connection I can make for you there. But you need to know this because at some point, you're going to be presented with a case where a patient has a large bunion with end-stage degenerative joint disease of the first MPJ, Maybe they're over 50 or 55 years old, and they're gonna ask you what's a joint destructive procedure that you can do to relieve their pain. And so the Keller procedure is just that. What you do is um, you resect the proximal phalanx, either one quarter or one third of the base. One third is more common. Okay, so you're taking off the base of the proximal phalanx. You're not taking off the head of the metatarsal. That's commonly confused. And then what you do afterwards is in that deficit, you um, sew in the capsular tissues into that first MPJ joint space, and you can do some cleanup of the joint areas with chylectomies. Okay, so it's the Keller procedure. You um, use it for bunions less than 16 degrees IM angle or with end-stage hallux limitus rigidus in people who are over 50 to 55 years old, and that's it.